A little over a decade ago, Jim Levendusky, a young family man and avid hunter, was puzzled by bouts of numbness in his upper body. The steelworker reacted with a mixture of confusion and uncertainty when doctors gave him the diagnosis. And he told me that I had MS. And I asked him, what's MS? You know, what's multiple sclerosis? I didn't know. Let's look at the, some films from uh, someone with MS. So this is a, an MRI scan. This is the so-called flare uh, images, which shows cross sections of the brain. Uh, here's the brain within the skull. Uh, here are normal fluid-filled sacs within the brain, uh, the ventricles. Uh, and what's abnormal here are these white spots, the so-called plaques or, or lesions. Dr. Cohen and his colleagues are striving to understand the complex mysteries of MS, starting with its elusive cause. Ultimately, the, the cause of MS remains uh, unclear. Uh, we know that uh, abnormal inflammation is what accounts for the damage in the nervous system, but what causes that abnormal inflammation still remains uh, unknown. The prevailing theories have been that it's uh, either due to uh, an inherited abnormality of uh, the immune system, or perhaps it's triggered by an infection. Researchers do know multiple sclerosis affects the central nervous system and can profoundly affect a person's coordination and mobility. For Jim, this means he can no longer work and he gets fatigued easily. But he has a more positive emotional perspective on the disease than he did back in the beginning. It's something that's out of my control. And mentally, it took me a lot of years and a lot of struggling to realize it's not my fault. I did a lot of crying back in the early 90s. I'm too big to cry. I don't do it anymore. Based on MRI brain scans, researchers have learned that the body attempts to fix the damaged nerves caused by MS. In an effort to turn the tables, these researchers are now working to assist the body in regenerating healthy tissues. We now realize that there are probably a variety of ways in which we could stimulate repair. Uh, and so that's a very active area of research in multiple sclerosis. MS experts like Dr. Rudick and Dr. Cohen say the best advice that they have for MS patients is to remain hopeful. MS is above anything uh, an exercise in hope. Uh, they should have hope because uh, we have effective treatments and uh, we're developing more treatments every day. They don't need to change their, their plans, their goals, their aspirations. Dr. Rudick has a hope of his own that could become a reality. In the reasonably near future, we're going to cure MS.